What has concerned us, because we have seen that the budget projections, once the hiring freeze was announced, that we knew that we were in trouble going down significantly, and we had trouble with the fact that the announcement was a delayed uh, start date and that there was a race to the finish line to get a lot of hiring done. So um, that was very upsetting to me and to most all of my colleagues. And then there's the complex issue in terms of the governor's hiring that his personnel go through DFA. They do not go through the state personnel system. And so it's going to be very tricky and complex to find out really what the true figures are. The other issue that we understand has been occurring is that his exempt people that he hires, what some people call, call unauthorized hires. Now we aren't talking about the cabinet secretaries which are exempt and a lot of the other uh, director type people that are exempt, but we're just talking about blanket unauthorized hires which are gov governor appointments. That many of those people now are being put into classified jobs. So then that then really muddies more of the water because those classified jobs are going into the state personnel system. So it's going to be very tricky to uh, try and say who's right. What we do know is that um, that the governor needs to have a genuine concern uh, for a recurring problem and to uh, say enough is enough in terms of uh, any hiring of anything that is something besides a, a state police or a nurse, for instance, and help us out, as opposed to uh, he said, she said, and, and issues as to um, where the uh, hiring has been and what the numbers are, because um, you're right, we hear that the numbers are not what, what he said. So uh, it's just going to be very complicated, and, and I wish that we could all kind of come together and say, let's just stop hiring. <laughs> because now we are worried that with the figure of unemployment going down even further, I hear it's 7.7, .7, that may not even be accurate. It may even be higher than that. Um, and for me, that is the litmus test that by the time we get to January, it's going to be significantly worse.